What is up, guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I am John the Potter. So good to have you in the studio today. Bear, come here. Say hi. This is my uh, my dog, Bear. So we're talking about these kiln shelves, and these are from uh, a company. They're called the Advancer Kiln Shelf. Like if you look them up online, or there's a link in the description to their website. But they, I just got these shelves, and if you watched the last video, that ASMR video, a lot of people were like, "What are those black kiln shelves? What are, what did you put on your kiln shelves?" So they are new. Later in this video, we're gonna glaze and we're gonna load a kiln, and so I'll show you all that. But these kiln shelves are probably, I mean, they are. They're the best kiln shelves out there, and I'm gonna tell you why. They are super thin. They're only five sixteenths of an inch compared to the typical kiln shelf is three quarters of an inch and these are 5 sixteenths. So they're much thinner, so you save space in the kiln. They're much lighter, so you save your back when you're loading. They're silicone carbide, um, so glaze doesn't stick to them, so you don't need kiln wash. So normally on kiln shelves, you like put a little layer of wash so that if glaze sticks to it, you can scrape it off and save your kiln shelf and save your bottoms. But the glaze comes off super easily of these. Uh, they don't warp ever. So these, over time, will begin to warp. I should show you some that have warped. So maybe you can't really see this, um, but over time, normal kiln shells will warp. And so t they recommend that you fire it like this, and then you fire it like this. You kind of like do multiple ways so that they don't get too warped one way. But these do not warp. They, so technically, if as long as you don't drop them, really hope I don't break them on camera right now. That would be, disastrous. Uh, so as long as you take care of them and you don't drop them, then supposedly the shelf life is forever. Like they don't warp. And probably the best thing about them is how easily glaze drips come off of here. So I've fired these now just twice, so I'm really new to them, but they're like so amazing that I have to talk about them. So this is the other tool from them that this is, uh, they call this their glaze eraser. And so this, I don't know what this is made of, but it's something. You just take this and then if there's any glaze drips on there, it just, you just scrape it and it comes right off. Which, opposed to the normal way that you do uh, kiln shelves where you're like scraping, taking that thing, you're just like And then you gotta reapply kiln wash. There's like so many reasons why these kiln shelves are like the most amazing thing. The only downside is the investment that you have to put up front because these guys are not inexpensive. But I have heard so much about them for so long that I decided it was finally time for me to like get a few. So I have just these now, these half shelves plus like the one big full shelf. Thought I would try it out first and then I definitely am gonna get more because over time, um, I think that they will pay for themselves. Both in the space that you can save in the kiln, the loading, um, on my back, like so that it's not so hard on my back loading these heavy shelves. I think these are like less than half of the weight of a normal kiln shelf. And then in the way that the glaze just comes right off of them, I am super, super excited about these kiln shelves. I just had to share. They give me a little discount on these shelves, but they are not paying me anything to do this video. Uh, I hope to partner with them more in the future. So if you guys wanna go check them out, they go check them out. There's a link in the description too. It's just kilnshelf.com. Um, and you can find them for yourself. They have all different sizes for different kilns. They have square ones, rectangle ones, octagon, whatever whatever shape this is. Ten-sided, pentagon, is that a decagon, decagon? How many, what, what's the shape with 10 sides? Advancer, the Advancer Kiln Shelf, that's what they're called. And the glaze eraser. Right there? Yep. You like them too, don't you? I don't know why you would like them, but we're gonna just do some glazing and uh, I'll show you guys loading these into the kiln a little bit. All right, let's do it.
Oh yeah, another thing that's like so annoying about these older style shelves, oh, besides being heavy and large and just bulky, is the kiln wash that you put on there. I can't count the number of times that I've had like a nice big bowl come out perfectly, except for there's one little piece of kiln wash or kiln shelf stuck in the middle. It's like, oh, there's a $85 mug. So for these advancer shelves to not have to use any kiln wash and it's just, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. If you can afford to buy them, whoo, out with these. I mean, there's, I'll still use these for bisking, but I think for glazing, I'm going all advancer. All right guys, so this kiln is its basically full. We're gonna put a few more little things on the top, um, but pretty much it's full. And so just wanted to say thanks to the Advancer Kiln Shelf uh, for making some sweet, sweet innovations in the ceramic industries because those are super nice. I'm excited to uh, get some more. So check them out. There's a link in the description below if you are interested. Uh, and let them know that, you, that I sent you. If you wanna go buy some or you go check them out or whatever, like, it would be helpful to me if they knew that John the Potter was sending people their way. So, okay, I think that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Check, check, check. What is Today we're talking about Kiln shells. And he doesn't always like being in the studio, so he might whine a little bit. But um, today, <laughs> I hope the mic was on. Yes, it was. Thank goodness. And then you'll have to tune into a future video to see us, to see, or tune into the Instagram. Go check out my Instagram page. I post a lot of finished pictures over there uh, if you feel like you don't get to see them here on the YouTube. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I also have a TikTok now, which TikTok is a weird and silly place. But if you want to go find me on TikTok. Making videos. Yeah, making them videos. Hey, videos. Hey, videos. Welcome back to the video. Bye. Say, see you in the next one. See you next one. Shh.